to a relaxing wood shop. My name is David. Hi guys, so as you can see, I'm down in Dublin um, for a wee staycation. So I'm gonna let dad take the video for today and get all the parts done. So sit back and have a relaxing time at the wood shop. Well, that's lucky for some, but the show must go on. So this week, as you're aware, we are doing a poker table. Now, the poker table we're going to try and do on as tight a budget for people. Now, you can buy poker tables online in plastic and in other wee shapes and formats, but to go to a wooden poker table and kind of bespoke it does cost quite a bit of money. So we're going to do this on an extremely tight budget, but uh, trust me when I say this, by the end of this, it'll look a million dollars. Our ingredients for today... Uh, now bear with me with this because it's going to sound really strange but trust me if you go to the shop or have an old post off a staircase go for one of these it'll save you a huge amount of time and they do look beautiful so one of them then we have a round pole you could use an old brush shaft i did get this very very cheap so we're going to go for this here a four by two post that's lying about in the back garden and or you could go to one of any local wood timber store and get one of them. Treat it if you want. Treat is probably preferable because it's going to be a poker table with maybe the odd bit of uh, beer or drink spilt on it. And if you have an old piece of furniture that you were splitting up, breaking down like a tall boy or anything like that, you can use the top of it as well. So we're really not spending a lot of money to get the outline of it. What you will need separately that I don't have here is a piece of material because we do need to put material over the worktop preferably something that's leatherette to keep the cost down but if you have anything like that you can go for that let me show you what i mean so here's what i mean you can go any fabric store and get these cutoffs or leftover bits but this is a wee bit like suede almost material which will feel very good under under hand when you're playing poker now remember we are not advocates of gambling but having a bit of poker and using chips is a great way to have fun and it's a very cost-effective way uh, to have a few friends around, have a drink and play a few games. So let's get on with the game. Nope. The last three ingredients then for this are a couple of fence boards. I know these aren't fence boards. I did go to the local supplier to get a couple of fence boards and unfortunately they were all out. So I've got a wee bit of timber here, which is eight and a half inches by about seven foot. Then we need some paint from your local um, back garden basically where you have painted your shed or your fences uh, which I'm going for a slate grey and then some lacquer. Now try and get a car lacquer spray the reason being it is a wee bit harder wearing because if you're going to be playing throwing down the chips on the table you want it to last as long as you can. I do have a few stickers that I have ordered as well that'll be coming through but that'll be done right at the very end of the project. So let's get stuck in. Okay, so later on we're going to rip down the tabletop which will be two feet by two feet. But before we get there, we have to make the frame or the base of it done first. So we need to do our feet and we need to do our supports. Now using this board here and using, as Christopher says, my size of ruler, we work out our measurements. Now we don't want them to be more than 10 inches at each time. The reason being is if the table's two feet, you have to have your supports 10 inches on each side, plus we have a further two and a half inches on the, the, the support, the center piece. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut this board four times at 10 inches. At the miter station, we've set it to 10 inches at the wee stop. So it's just a matter now, matter, get it, matter station, matter, no, uh, of cutting the four uh, pieces out here. So let's get cutting. <laughs> So now we have all four of them uh, cut to 10 inches. At the moment, I know it's still as clear as mud, but it will get more understandable as it goes on. What I need to do now is do a wee design. Very simple. One inch from the top here and one inch from the bottom there. One wee second. Just line it out. Go by your eye. As I always say to everybody, go by your eye. That does that. And then as you can see, I'll bring it up a wee bit closer. We'll have our curve. So what we're going to do now, bring that over to the bandsaw 
and we'll cut that out with Old Faithful. Start, guys. Did you ever hear a joke about the joiner who was working on a bandsaw and he leaned too far in and his ear got cut off? So all his mates ran about and they got some frozen peas and they put the ear on for on ice and then turned around and said, look, we need to get you to the doctor. So got him to the doctor, went into the doctor and the doctor pulled out the peas and says, look, your ear's been cut off, but I think we could put it back on. And the man looked down and said, but that's not my ear. He says, of course it's your ear. That was the ear that fell off when you got caught at the bandsaw and we're going to put it on. He said, but that's not my ear. So the doctor says, look, you obviously are feeling concussion as well. It was on the bandsaw and your ear fell off. He said, but I had a pencil behind my ear. David, what on earth are you doing, I hear you say? Well, this is the first one. It is now two parts, okay? That is a beautiful foot, reversing up and round, and that is a beautiful support. But it's the opposite of each other, so when you're looking at it, it actually looks really nice. Now, in order to match this through, the very easy way and the wee trick is take your original cut, put it against your board, and then just run your line across, and that's another one done. Again, the same thing, run your line across, that's another one done. Run your line across, I'm not even gonna say it, because you know what I'm about to say. So, let's get all these three back onto the bandsaw, and we'll cut them out. We're onto the router station, very, very noisy machine, so all the PPE gear that you can get, put it on. We're going to do the feet first, and as this is a very dusty uh, job, we're going to put on the fan. Okay guys, so that's all done, and you can see they're all looking very beautiful. So now what we just need to do is give the base of them just a wee bit of a sand to make sure they're perfectly flat, and of course for the tops of them to make them also perfectly flat, so we get a nice uh, level plan feed. Right guys, so now we've got all of them done, uh, which was very dusty and noisy, but now eight times we need to put a drill hole into them to go into the, the, the center piece. Now, we've got a wee jig set up here. This is a graph cracker wee thing from Wolfcraft and what it does it gives you a 20 degree angle the same angle every time so come on in close and I'll show you how you would do this so the drill bit goes through here and as you drill in nice and slow and as it catches and we're through so there we go, so that's that one done, so seven more to go. So we're getting closer to the centre part of this being finished. So now we have our four feet, and as you can see, that's given us a curve in to put the screw, which comes out of this wee spot here, against the main post bit. So that'll be perfectly hidden as it sits on the ground. So what we need to do now is drill these to this. Same thing again on the top then. Just till you get a nice nip, look at that. Okay, so now we're on to just drilling this. We'll put the center line here. We're going to put on the center line onto the post and now it's just a matter of drilling it in. So let's get a remark in. Always put the drill in the right way. Nice and slow. And there we go. And that's nice and tight. Do that three more times. We're getting there now. So there we go, guys. 
it's now taking really good shape. We'll have our feet, we'll have the stem, and then we'll have the support for the top of the poker table. And unfortunately, that's all we'll have time for this week. So we'll look forward to seeing you next week on the Relaxing Woodshop. Shop.